Oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, you guys know me. You got, I tell you guys all my experiences that I go through. And I'm going to be honest. I've never been so disappointed in my absolute gamer life. For the first time, if you're somebody who saw the spoilers or you saw the leaks, this is the first time I literally say I envy you for seeing the spoilers because I wish I saw the spoilers because I went into this thinking from yesterday's video that I was going to kill Abby because of everything she's done, all the trials and tribulations, all the, the mental torment, everything she's put me through. That was going to be my revenge moment. That was going to be my comeback moment. That was gonna what, that's what was going to make the game better for me is killing Abby. I even had it planned out. You could call me crazy. I had it planned out. I was like, you know what? Yep. I was going to go up to her and I was going to hit her with the two palms, four palms. And I was going to hit her with the gentle fist, right? I was going to shut off her chakra. After I shut off the chakra, I was going to slap her with a Lego. Pow! She was going to be dazed at that given moment because she's kind of built like cooler off of Dragon Ball Z. You know, Frieza's brother. And I was like, you know what? After that, I was going to charge up a spear bomb. Pow! Boom, boom, pow! She was going to be dead. That was going to happen. Well, that's how it played out in my head. And uh, yeah, it didn't didn't happen like that. <laughs> didn't happen like that. Well, since that didn't happen, man, play my intro, man. Oh my gosh, I've never been so disappointed with a video game. Because here's here's why. Here's why. If you were the type of person to watch the spoilers and you saw all the leaks and you were saved with your $60, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Get a little bit closer. I envy you. I envy you because I had so much hope for this game. Like, even when they killed Joel and I was like, yo, what the heck, bro? And I'm not liking the, the way how the story is going, the way the story is being progressed. I'm like, come on, son. I knew that there was one thing that was going to make me feel better. And I said it in yesterday's video. And I said, yo, guys, I'm an hour away from killing Abby and finishing the game. I'll tell you guys my experience. This is that experience. Guess what? I did not kill Abby. Not, not because I couldn't beat the game, but because my character and the way it was written out, I don't kill Abby. Now, I would... Uh, now, I'm, I'm... I don't... Bruh, I don't even know what to say. I just finished it and I'm recording right after. So I'm, I'm filled up on a lot of emotion right now, guys. I, Cause I had to get this video out to you guys. I uninstalled it. I uninstalled it right after because they forced me to wait. You know what? Before I start rambling timestamp, this is to where I start telling you guys these facts and these points, right? Let me at least get this out the way. Let me get the logical stuff out the way for the people who want to hear some logical stuff. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm always being goofy, being myself. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. It's all entertainment and just having fun. But <laughs> this game really caught me off guard. Here's the thing. Storytelling. I did not agree with the storytelling in this game. So somebody said, I've seen a lot of people say that the game is amazing. The only problem with the game is the writing. So some of the, they, uh, a lot of people said the game's not bad. Only the writing and the storytelling. Okay, okay. Can, can we agree? Here's the thing, that makes no sense. That literally makes no sense. That's the biggest contradiction I've ever heard. Let me tell you why. The game is a story-based game. If the story's bad, the game is bad. If the gameplay is good, if the graphic is good, it doesn't make the game good because it's a story-based game. So it revolves heavily, 90% of it is on the story. Guys, I know that people are going out of their way to defend it. I was trying to be good with the game, but listen to me. I just got my heart crushed, bro. I've never seen a game built around revenge with no revenge. I'm sorry, but if you're defending this, I'm absolutely lost. The writing is so subpar, but let me give it this credit. The graphics is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the facial recognition, the facial animation, beautiful stunning the way how it goes it plays like the first one the movement and everything the different weapons that you use great the scenery beautiful but this is a storytelling game and for the story to be lacking it's a problem the story was rushed there was many scenes in the story that nothing made no sense and for you to actually have all this build up and this disappointment 
the only way for you to get judgment and for you to make it through this bro is for you to actually get the revenge because it's about revenge it's a lot darker it's darker times and i didn't get no revenge and they made me play abby for like five six hours to try to sympathize with her i don't even like her she just looks like she hulk hulk smash abby smash <laughs> i'm so mad i'm so bad because the game's writing literally makes no sense to me guys it's a revenge plot without the revenge like abby had the best she abby had the best revenge in here she killed joel she killed like five six other people she made it through ellie didn't even get the the life that she deserved she was left alone i'm just i'm just scratching my head right now because i don't i was trying to defend the game but those scores that came out to say yo 10 out of 10 amazing game hey hey you love it my grandmother loves it is a whole lot of lies and for the people to come out and say that the story is great we don't see what the problem is that means you're truly just intentionally overlooking bad writing for graphics and the fact of just emotional connection that does not make a good game though man come on bro see since i went out of my way to avoid the spoilers i tried my best to avoid every single spoiler that i could right now the game's not bad it's only the writing and telling the story come on bro that's the game that's the game the storytelling and the writing if it's out of place that's like shakespeare trying to tell you a story and the story's bad are you gonna say but the acting was great what are you saying to me like some people are not making sense and i can't believe i went out of my way like i said joel's death was rushed bro it was rushed for as much as i love joel they they rushed his death man it didn't make sense and the way i looked through it and if you love the first game there's no way you can look at this second game because i beat the first game at 6 p.m. today as I'm playing through this game and I finished everything just so I can be locked in with the story. And I'm finishing this game at, what time is it? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Because I went through and just had everything sunk in and it's fresh on my mind from the first game and the second game. And I'm just sitting there like, there's absolutely no way people are looking at this. But the fact that they still let me kept playing as Abby trying to let me sympathize with her. I was like, no, bro, I'm still gonna kill you and I'm gonna steal those cargo pants that you're wearing. <laughs> That's all it came down to. I never felt so empty in my life because I really didn't get anything out of it. Like, if you if you played this game and if you guys seen this game, bro, and you're being honest, bro, what did you get out of it? Like, yes, they continued the story, but compared to how part one was, Bro, this story was lackluster compared on how the story was told. The sex scenes that came in, how they felt forced. Feeling empty after. And feeling empty after Joel's death and just the way how you're going through the game. Everything was supposed to come full circle after you kill Abby. But we didn't get it. We didn't get it. And it was so weird. And the crazy thing is, the only thing that's going back in my mind is the fact that the developer says our game isn't supposed to be fun and i was like i never really truly understood what you meant like it's not supposed to be fun like i get it like you're not supposed to have fun like a hundred percent of the time but you might have fun 60 percent of the time no my heart was crushed like jiraiya seeing like naruto seeing jiraiya die bro whatever your saddest anime moment was that's how i felt when joel died and a lot of people are like hey Joel wasn't always a good guy. Joel wasn't always this. Joel was the person that they shouldn't have killed off so early because he's a fan favorite. And it's not just because you killed a fan favorite, you know? It's simply, it's simply because you killed an iconic character in it that had a stronger story lead to lead in with a weaker story point. I don't, I don't understand how more people can't see that, you know? I just don't know what i should even be feeling at this given moment it's so weird to me because as i'm going through this game and i'm seeing the characters that's left i don't connect with none of the characters i started hating ellie part way through because of how she was treating joe um joel and i'm just like yo ellie you gotta make up for this but no character made me sympathize with them really 
on that level and this is a game that's supposed to hit your emotions this is a game that's supposed to be just all up in the feels man come on bro be fair with me guys be fair with me come on this game did not deliver and it's so weird to me because i gave the game a chance i beat the first one I went straight into the second one and I'm fresh on the emotions from the first one and the second one and I can balance them all the way through you know what I mean so I'm just looking at it like wait how do people have the if you can compare this to the first one you're being disrespectful to the first game and that's all I can say to you you're being disrespectful to the first game like if you don't look at the writing the rush the force dialogues for certain scenarios certain scenes on how it went through and this one was just dark and gruesome and for anything to be so dark and gruesome to put you in there it was weird the way how joel gave him and tommy's real name i was like wait certain things you have to pay attention to he was always cautious always going through and some people are probably going to be like hey man you just want to be bad at you just want to be mad at the game because it's cool to be mad at the game right now because a lot of people are mad at the game i actually gave this game a fair chance i'm not a story driven guy really i love fighting games and i love like action-packed games so for me to say to my stream channel over there on twitch make sure you guys are following right make sure you guys are following me on twitter as well um for me to go out my way to be like all right guys you know what i'll give the first one a shot and i'll rush through it and i'll beat it i don't really complete games like that but for me to go ahead and beat this and move into the second one and beat it this early and get everything out of the way oh i think i have a fair judgment and i think i know when something is bad and i'm gonna tell you guys this this would be better as a movie than an actual video game to play through and it's hard to play through because some people can't take it bro you gotta literally sit there you gotta be like oh man my heart my heart you your mom come in the room see you crying what you crying for you won't understand I just need a moment <laughs> you know what i mean so these things are really tough for me and i tried my best to not show as much spoilers or whatever you guys just see certain scenes and certain things that you play through man but it was absolutely difficult chat it was absolutely difficult i want you guys to understand like the process of this game with the storytelling was so off i don't i know that a lot of the writers original writers and stuff left and you can tell now if you're looking at this game from a single point of view to where you're like mm, it's its own game it's doing this it's doing its own thing yeah i get it you know what i mean i get it but other than that <sighs> it's it's a roller coaster of emotions and the roller coaster never came back up so i never got happy so yikes completely and utter yikes and i can't believe you guys did such a good job with not telling me what happened in the last video so timestamp this this is where real thank you guys thank you guys for not spoiling it for me in the last video by telling me that i didn't get the chance to kill abby so i appreciate you guys i think i may have one or two videos tops to make out of this i'm definitely going to try to return this game i uninstalled it i'm definitely going to try to return it but I want to give a full review after this. Let me know if you guys are ready for me to drop a full review since I actually played through it. I got everything out the way. <sighs> I just want to say I love you guys and thank you guys for the support. Please make sure you give a thumbs up on this video. This has been one freaking roller coaster of a ride. And I, <laughs> I'm so stuck here, man. I am so stuck here. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the tons of videos. If you're new here. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Check all the uploads. I've been uploading like a maniac. Take care, homies.